power toys just got even more powerful. Version 0.62 added three new features. Let's check them out. The Power Toys can be installed via the Microsoft Store or downloaded with your browser. You will find the link in the description. If you download them, make sure you pick the right version for your processor type. If you don't know what processor you have, just search for System, click on System and here you should find a line with your processor information. Once the download is finished, double click the file to install the application. Just follow the setup guide and you will be fine. After the installation, Power Toys will start automatically, although you might not necessarily notice right away. Go down to your sys tray, click on the little arrow up, and then right click on the Power Toys icon and click on Settings. Once we're in the settings, first make sure that Power Toys will always run in administrator mode. Otherwise, not all the features will work. If you change this option, you need to restart Power Toys to apply these settings. The quick accent feature allows you to type accented characters quickly. This is useful for me because apart from writing in English, I frequently type texts in German. Until now, I used the Win and Space shortcut to switch between English and German keyboard layouts. With quick accent, this will not be necessary anymore. And I get more than just German special characters. The settings for quick accent are straightforward. You can define the activation key for the feature. Given the choice between left, right, arrow, space, or both, I kept both. By default, the quick accent toolbar is displayed at the top center of your screen. You can adjust this position by selecting an alternative one from the drop-down. Last not least, you can modify the input delay. For me, the default value of 200 milliseconds works just fine. With quick accent, you can write as usual and when you have to, you can easily add accented characters. For example, I could explain that kind regards translates into mit freundlichen Grüßen in German. Or, if you're so inclined, you can get very creative with your children's names, like some celebrities did not too long ago with this little gem. Screen ruler may seem like a small feature, but once you're used to it, you don't want to miss it anymore. It allows you to measure distances between elements on your screen as well as area dimensions. After enabling screen ruler, you can customize the settings. After some testing, I figured that the default settings work just fine for me. Once activated, you can choose from four measuring modes. Bounds, Spacing, Horizontal Spacing and Vertical Spacing. Bounds gives you the dimensions of any area you highlight. You will get pixel values for the X and Y axes. Spacing measures the horizontal and vertical distances between elements. I really like how Screen Ruler identifies even the smallest elements and considers them for measuring. Horizontal and vertical spacing do exactly the same thing, but focused on the respective orientation rather than measuring both at the same time. The third new feature is Text Extractor. It allows you to, well, extract text from images or screenshots copies the text to your clipboard and lets you paste it from there as plain text into your document. There are not many settings for text extractor, but you can customize the activation key. It is not obvious, but if you need to adjust your selection area, you can do this by using the shift key. Holding it will allow you to move the selection rectangle rather than resize it. As you can see, this works rather well with various font types and backgrounds. Power Toys is getting better and better. These seemingly small helpers can really increase your productivity. They certainly help with mine. However, there are more things we can do to increase our productivity, which you should really check out in this growing list of productivity tips and tricks. If you found this video even remotely helpful, perhaps drop a like or even subscribe to the channel. For you it is free and it does help me. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.